My name is Doug Hatfield, and I work for Santa Cruz Syndicate, and I'm a mechanic for Lucas Shaw. Oh yeah, here's my toolbox. I've actually resorted back to my old standard toolbox. It, I had it in the US, and now it's gonna live on the truck for the rest of the summer. But I've definitely downsized because my other toolbox had so much stuff in it I didn't need. And so uh, I'm trying to go lighter in just the basic tools, basically. So I still have the old, old toolbox. It's back home. I kind of call it the mothership because it has everything. And I can do, uh, I can even work on my motorbike out of that toolbox. So anyway, you yeah. caught me at the end of the day. And believe it or not, I kept a pretty tidy workbench. But some days it looks a lot worse. You need, I have cotton rags. I have microfiber rags. I have clean ones. I have dirty ones. And I kind of separate them all. Um, cool. Getting back into the toolbox though, um, basic tools, um, all my Allen wrenches, so um, 2.5, I have two 2.5 all the way to size 8 millimeter um, in the T25, and I like snap on stuff, but then I really like the Burzman, so I have a little bit of a hodgepodge of stuff. This box is actually really old, I've had this box since um, Josh Bryslin, Rat Boy. Um, Steve Pete, when I was actually wrenching for him a little bit. Um, Greg Menard, when I worked for Greg Menard. Um, so yeah, it's been with me for a while. I have some really nice pliers. These are Klein pliers, they're called Lyman pliers. They actually have a little uh, um, bevel to them. So you can get in and I use them for snipping tires, for uh, cutting uh, tires down. If you do a uh, rainy day and you need to cut tires. These, I really like these, these are snap-on. They're uh, needle nose and are really convenient for pulling stuff and getting into uh, small tight spots, so I like them. Sometimes people give me gifts, and sometimes the gifts are really nice because it's something they've used before. So we have our friend, um, his name is Jimmy, and he gave me some really nice, uh, fine, sharp uh, cutters, and I really like using these for zip ties, and I only use them for zip ties. Uh, I keep a fork in case somebody gives me a plate of food. So it's a plastic fork, sometimes like a, a metal fork. And then the Maxis guys just gave me a Maxis pressure gauge. So it's the same thing, but it says Maxis. But anyway, one tool that I've been using probably for 15, 20 years is this. It's a snap-on. It's a little bevel wrench. Super handy. I have this here. It has all my little, uh, all the ones I use. T25, um, 2, 2.5, it's a 3, a 4, 5, 6. You have to be compact, so this is for setting uh, races. And mainly I only do downhill bikes, so I just have the uh, one and an eight uh, race setter. And then I have a file in there. It's a round uh, rat tail file. I think when everything's all together, maybe nine, 10 kilos. So um, not super heavy, so I can travel with it. So I have a camera here. And instead of piling all my pictures on a phone, and um, I like to put everything on a camera. I can download it on my computer. And later on, uh, I can review what I have on the camera. And I like to take pictures of my bike, um, PA's bike, uh, Loris Vergier's, and Greg Menard's bike. Because um, I have to do sort out all the different parts. And I can see uh, what has been done at every race. So Greg actually gave this camera to me. And I've had it for quite a while. And it's been pretty trustworthy. So. A few um, people have asked on Instagram, when are you getting your own account? My own account? Instagram? Yeah. My dog, I think, people has... People want you on Instagram. My dog, I think, has Instagram. Is it Murray. Are you yeah. ever going to get it? No, yeah, maybe, yeah. You never know. Yeah. yeah. Well, life's in the future. You never know. The people want it. Okay. Well, we'll work on that. <laughs> um, super important is my notebook. This is what we're here for. And so, May 25th, we were here last Saturday. But pretty much the setting, all this goes back. It's all the history of everything I do. So, and then I have another notebook that just is everything that I have to do for uh, ordering. That's, I don't want to um, copy in my notebook. This is like the Bible, and this is just all my notes. So I have two different notebooks. So basically, when the season starts, yeah, I do all the ordering for the team. So that's actually... Uh, pretty extensive so my I don't have a lot of downtime when the season's over everybody goes well how was your off season well there's not much time in the off season because right as soon as we get off the road I have to order everything for the future for the next season so um, 
I love doing it. It's fun, and uh, but it's a bit of a challenge. Is Favorite tool? Um, probably the, the, this uh, swivel. I mean, I've used this for a long time. I've had it in my toolbox probably since the beginning. It's, it's gone through a couple different toolboxes, and I have, uh, I think, three of them. They don't even make this one anymore with the metal handle. It comes with a plastic handle. But uh, I hate using vice grips because you have to clamp on stuff, and then it puts burrs in it, and I don't know. But sometimes you need them, but I have vice grips. Uh, and um, a lot of people, a lot of the, if you look around the mechanics, um, they like to do like the foam cut and everything has a little place and stuff, which is really cool. And maybe I'll do that on my next toolbox. But again, this is one that I've always had, so I, I know where everything is. Um, I've been pretty honored to work with a lot of top writers. Um, I actually started um, mechanicing again. You know, I, I was a racer at once. And then, you know, a career is only so long. So I decided, you know what, I'm not going to be a racer forever. I better lean on something else. So here I am wrenching on bikes. And uh, so, yeah, I started working with um, the Olympic team in, in Colorado for the USA Cycling. Now it's back in the early 90s. And then um, next thing you know, um, mountain biking became a big sport. And so in 1994, I started working with GT. Had a pretty long run working with that um, company. Had some good memories. Worked with Steve Pete back then. Um, one of my first years working there, uh, worked with uh, Nicholas Foulier and his father. And uh, he won two world championships along the way, the um, World Cup title. And uh, yeah, it's been going, going good from then on. So yeah, I'm really proud of being able to work with the top riders in the world. It's amazing. And uh, I mean, you look back in the day, and, and all the riders had lots of talent. But now the equipment has gotten better and better, and the bikes are going faster and, and can roll over stuff better, and uh, I'm happy to be part of it. Yeah, yeah, um, this is what happens at the end of the day. It usually happens after my tools are back in the toolbox, um, because usually that's the story. But here's what happens. I close this like this, oh. and then this is uh, 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 cheers, Doug. D for Doug. <laughs> <laughs>